This is my lion's hive. I'm going to admit something that I haven't told anybody yet. This is the first time physically this year that I'm going into this colony. I have not opened it yet. I know that during winter time it contracted quite a bit. And I also know that on warm days when this hive beards, it is loaded with bees. It is really, really loaded. Huh, that tells you I haven't been in here. I left the Apovar strips in there from last year, which I'm not supposed to do. But I think what happened is when winter came, it was too cold and I didn't want to open the colony and I figured, eh, I'll just leave them be. But you can see there's four Apovar strips from last year. Now this is a follower board down here. So I start with that. One thing to note about this colony, if you look at the frames, this has a wire on it. That means there's foundation. The ones with the red marks were foundationless. Uh, some of the foundationless ones I made into foundation and they have wires, but that's how I know. Um, I'm gonna take a look, see what I have going on here. I harvested honey from this colony last year, did really well with it and I'm curious to see what it looks like. On warm days, this thing beards, there's four inches of bees on the front. So I suspect that it's gonna have quite a large population inside. Bees all the way at this end and What's really nice about the foundation list is that you can make comb honey from it. So I have a full curtain of honey back here. Let me show you. I think, no, I got it free. Look at this. This is an amazing thing. <laughs> Look at that. Is that not awesome or what? Beautiful. That means that they came from this end of the colony, which is where the bees were in the winter, all the way through. This was put back as foundation late last year after I harvested and they had to build it out. And you could see the last frame is full all the way through. Now the way this colony works, what is typical is they put the honey on this end and the brood is on the other end. The funny thing about this colony is they have two entrances. They have an entrance here and an entrance there, and they make use of both of them, but the brood nest is down this end here. This frame is the exact same as the other one, just a carpet of honey. Carpet of honey, next one. What we do is we make cut comb honey with these. We cut them through. This one's a carpet of honey. This one's lumpy honey, which means I bet we're going to find brood on this frame. Hard to get this apart here. They've really welded it down. I'm just going to take my time. The, the great thing about using foundation in this is that they draw the comb straight. They don't cross comb it. So to start with foundation is just beautiful. Look at this. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely gorgeous. But that entire frame is full of drones. Every single bee is a drone on that frame. Every single bee is a drone. Isn't that interesting? I hope that's not a sign of something. You know, a lot of times the drones hide in the periphery, but that's just uncanny this time of year to see that many. Let's go a little further and see what we have going on. Now, the neat thing about working a colony like this is they're not up in the air. 
when you work a top bar hive and you pull one frame, it's really just the two faces of the frame you're working with. Let's see what we got going on here. Again, more honey. And every single bee is a drone. That's, that's not good. That's not a good sign when they're all drones. That makes me wonder if they're queenless and they have a drone layer and everybody coming out is drones. The interesting thing about it, and one thing I note, is they're big drones. They're not little ones. Why that's a distinction? When they lay drone in drone comb, they're big drones. When they lay drone in worker combs, they tend to be on the smaller side. These seem normal to me. Ah, good, 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 good. What I see is brood. Look, look at the brood. Oh, oh my gosh, it's still just loaded with drones. Isn't that crazy? But that brood is a promissory note that we have a queen in here. And you know, if you notice, I'm about halfway through. And by the way, there's brood on the other side too, but all drones. Just crazy number of drones in here. So it could be that this other half of the colony is all brood, could be. Let's, let's find out. Take this out. Shame on me for leaving these in. I don't normally do that, but I think this colony was an exception last year. I, I didn't want it to be messed with, so I left it be. So all drones. I have the whole population is drones, so I've never seen a colony like this. There's gotta be a queen in here. I don't know what to make of that. That's not a very big pattern there, but there's brood laid. No, no, that's pollen all the way through. So I suspect that the next bunches are going to be brood frames because the pollen factory is right here on this frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Frame eight has loads of pollen. Let's go get frame seven. Yeah, I don't actually like this. I mean, it could be that the queen is shutting down, but just, I have never seen so many drones in a hive, in a single hive, ever. And the brood is not crazy. Meaning there's not a lot of it. I'm just spending a moment just to peek to see if I could find my queen, but half the population on this frame is drones. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Red marks go to the front, typically. Yep. Got it out before the stinger got me. All of a sudden he got a little pissy. Give him a little smoke. You know what that means when they're pissy? It means it could be queenless. Mm -hmm. Dang it. Got one stuck under my watch here. Thank you. Come on, girls. I took my gloves off. All right, let's keep going. I'm not scared. Let's keep going and see what we got going on in here. I, I wanted to go all the way through this colony, so I'm gonna go all the way. Um, hello, ladies. 
How are ya? Ouch. That, that one got me on the thumb and I hate getting stung on the thumb. All right, when in Rome, put your gloves on. Dang it. When you type on the computer and you get stung on the thumb, that sucks. Okay, a little more bru- Ah, oh, that's what I like. Quick scan for the queen. Don't see it, but look at all the brood. What do I say? The pollen is right next to the brood factory. And you can see how much brood is on here. Huge population coming for this colony. So honestly, I don't need to go all the way through. I know I have a functional queen. I know I had brood coming. But they, they don't, they're a little feisty now down here on this end. I don't know why they got so fussy. I'm glad I put the gloves on. That's funny because this colony, every time I've ever worked it, has always been rather docile. No problem with it. Oop, dropped my hop tool. But, <laughs> holy cow, look at all the brood. Incredible. Yeah, so this colony, no challenges whatsoever. The other side, full carpet of brood. Next frame I could see, full carpet of brood. So, yeah, okay. Given they're pissy right now, I'm just gonna put them away. I still don't understand why there are so many drones in this colony. I, I've never seen a colony with so many drones. That's a first. I think I need to go in this colony more often or something so that they're used to me coming. I'm just looking down. I'm not going to pull the frames. Plus I want to separate them just to make sure that they've been separated at some point. Okay. Uh, I can't resist. I'm going to pull this one. Just going to look and see what it looks like. It ain't going to hurt me to look. Although they are launching like crazy. Out of the colony. I can't get a hold of it with my hop tool. There we go. One last frame. Just loaded with drones. I've never seen anything like it. Look, they're all drones. It's like drones have taken over the entire colony. I don't understand. This is a promissory note for the queen right there. This is all set up so that the queen can lay. That's what that's for. She's built all the other ones. She's gonna work her way back to this frame. Strangest thing I have ever seen in inspecting the number of drones that are in this colony. The entire thing is full of drones. It's just uncanny. Okay, I'm going to show you something that I'm going to do here. 
I'm going to give it a quick smoke. Instead of moving the frames one by one by one by one and risking crushing the bees that are in this slot, right? So if I move this one frame and then I move the next frame, every time I do that, the bees are coming up through here. So I'm going to smoke the gap. I'm just going to put that one tight for the moment. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to slide six frames forward, five frames forward, not one at a time. So just take my hive tool and I'm going to pull it down and give time for the bees to get out of the way here. Quick smoke before I pull it closed and I'll pull it closed. Bang. Quick smoke and I'll pull it closed. And then I'll do the same here and I'll get it down so I can get the follower board in. You crush less bees that way. Although every time you open a single gap in a space, they'll, they'll want to come up through it. So um, sometimes it's inevitable. Okay. Now I know when I put the follower board in the back that it's super tight, especially since I have some gaps here. I have to do my best to slide these frames as tight as I could get them. I'm putting my full body weight back here to tighten them all up. And then when I put the follower board in, the follower board is really tight and I have to like jam it down in, but that's on purpose. So let me see if I can get it down here. And really the only purpose of this follower board at the end is so that the bees don't build comb all the way down. So I take my hive tool and put it between the follower board and I pry and I pry until I can get the follower board to go in place. It's fussy, but it's the right thing to do. And it keeps everything tight. This follower board's actually too tight for this space, but I've been able to get it in and there it goes. So, okay. Uh, Kingdom full of drones. What a strange thing, to say the least. But, you know, I got a brood nest all the way through here and got honey stores here that I'll be able to harvest a little later. And what a cool hive to work from that standpoint. I, I do have to make a note that these girls were a little more fussy this time. I've never had them be that um, fussy with me. And shame on me for leaving the Apovar strips in. I won't do that again. Okay. Lay inside, done, check. Let me clean up the mess.